This is Ubuntu 24.04 running on the Android phone. And in this video, we'll test it with the desktop environments from the most light all the way to the most heavy one. But before we install any of these distros, make sure that your Tomox repos are up to date. And install root distro. Then to install Ubuntu, execute root distro install Ubuntu. Log into it. And that's it. We just installed Ubuntu 24.04. Now as always, first step is to update the repos. Then we'll install an Ubuntu desktop as based on LXQT, that's the most lightweight desktop. Also install VNC server so that we can access it through VNC. Now execute following to start the VNC server. Create your password and done. It's running on this port. So go to the VNC viewer, create a connection with localhost colon and the port. Create, connect and to fix the quality of the screen, click on this eye icon then change picture quality to high. And that's the most lightweight desktop for Ubuntu. Also, all distros we'll be trying in this video will be on this device which has only 3 gigs of RAM. So if you have low specs device, it should work fine. Also if you want to set up sound here, and yeah, you won't be able to listen sound from the distro until you set that up. So just get back to Termux. Swipe left and create a new session and install X11 repo. Then install Pulse Audio. Now open this file and paste following in it. Then restart Termux and the distro. Now you should have sound working. This will work for any distro you install. Method will remain same. Moving to the next one, X Ubuntu which is based on XFCE. This lies somewhere between the lightweight and the heavy desktops. Also as it is very customizable, you can change its look however and whatever you want. From Windows, Mac or just as default Ubuntu. I made full video with that. To get XFCE, execute this command. Make sure to select LightDM if it's asked to choose the display manager. And of course, we need VNC to get the GUI. And this is the XFC desktop. Looks fine, but to make it exactly like Ubuntu, you can use my script to customize it automatically for you. And here's the result. Or you can do it manually. Also, as by default, Ubuntu installs Firefox from Snap, which will not work in root environment. So if you want to install Firefox, you can use these commands. This will install Firefox without Snap. By the way, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. So next is the default desktop for Ubuntu, GNOME. Install it. Then we also need to set up X startup to get GNOME working. So create .vnc directory and open X startup file and enter following in it. Then save it with control X Y and enter. And a final fix. So execute following. Now just do VNC server and connect to it. So here is the GNOME desktop. This is the default GNOME look, but with some tweaks and modifications, here is the Ubuntu GNOME. I made full video on this, it will be somewhere here. GNOME is heavy and also doesn't work fine with boot, but still it's good. Moving to the most heavy desktop, K Ubuntu. This is based on KDE desktop environment. 
and if you don't know KDE was designed to provide simple and easy to use interface just like windows did but KDE for linux distros so just like windows KDE is also too heavy anyway moving further installing KDE is as simple as executing this command then just start vnc and connect to it and here is the most heavy desktop for opening the application launcher it's too slow so this is good but only if you have a good specs on your system